We're doing a home sleep study tonight, guys. That's right, you are doing it with me. I got my box of supplies from my doctor. Also, it came with instructions. We're gonna walk through this together. By the way, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician. I'm gonna take some of these things out. I'm an on-air health expert and video creator. By the way, this looks like the monitor and the pole socks that goes at the end of the finger. Um, and uh, today we're talking about sleep studies. I've been having palpitations in the last year. You guys know I've seen my cardiologist. One of the things he recently ordered was a home sleep study. So I'm actually doing this for real. Um, this is the belt that came with it. I'm gonna show you all about that. Um, this is the nasal cannula. See, nasal prongs, dee, 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 dee. and then also we've got batteries, which was nice of them to send batteries as well. And by the way, for those of you who've ever done this, man, do I wish you were here with me. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we do, um, this is the instructions. We first need to put in the batteries into the monitor, okay? So I'm gonna take this off and uh, put in the batteries. We'll guy in here, okay? And then we're gonna put in the other, here we go. All right, so we got the battery in and let's put the, the back on, okay? There we go. All right, the battery's in, okay? And I kind of looked at the instructions before this and basically it says that the monitor doesn't come on until you hook in the belt. So next instructions, this is the belt, okay? This blue belt that we got. And the cool thing is it's very, very adjustable to accommodate different sizes. What we have to do is put the monitor in, this little spout upwards, okay, around our chest. And it does tell us to wear um, a shirt underneath. So that's why I'm wearing a shirt. Like literally, these are my jammies. We're going to bed like this because, well, I'm doing a sleep study and this is what you gotta do. Here we go. This is the monitor. Let's see if we can get this in. It's supposed to be snug, not like super, super tight, but snug. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I mean, I'll give this a little bit more give. There we go. Put this one in. Let's see here. All right, let me pull my hair back because we're getting down to business. This is where we hook the nasal cannula onto the top of the um, battery or the, the monitor rather. And we actually put the nasal cannula, if you've ever been in the hospital, unfortunately, you probably have this where it goes in the nose and then it hooks around um, the, uh, the ears. So let's get going with that. And that's what this little guy is, okay? So we're gonna screw this in. Yeah. Okay, so it's in now. So it's screwed in. So I've ordered this for my patients like plenty of times, but never done it myself. So I'm actually glad I'm doing it, not only for my heart to like, just make sure that I'm sleeping okay and don't have sleep apnea, but also um, just, it helps me understand like what my patients go through. So these are the two prongs, right? So these go in my nose like this, okay? And this is gonna go around my ears and it's gonna go around here oh yeah actually that works out nicely okay they actually tell you to get some tape so let's just do this right now because we're getting ready to go to bed um it is about that time so i'm gonna hope this sticks right how glamorous do i look hope it stays um it's not the stickiest of the of tapes but we'll give it a try and let's see here all right, the next thing I do is I put the finger sensor on, okay? So this is, yeah, this tape is not sticky. We'll take these off for now because it's not really sticking. I'll get new tape. But the finger sensor, by the way, I told you guys about, um, you can get these from CVS or whatever, not these attached to these monitors, but ones that you can have at home. This is kind of like if you have a pulse oximeter at home that you bought at the drugstore, it's kind of similar to that. So you put your finger in, you want it to be on the top like this, at least that's what the instructions say, of course, because we want it to read. Um, and this is gonna read uh, my pulse and oxygen and all that good stuff, okay? And they also suggest that we, um, sort of tape this in place too so it doesn't go anywhere which I completely understand all right but there are all these like little lights at the top that tells me that I've actually done it properly um, and so it says once all the sensors have been connected which I did uh, all the icons will display solid green which it is up here and I know you guys can't see that after a few minutes the display lights will turn off which they're still on right now um, and this means that the device has become begun recording and I can go to sleep we did it we're attached I'm gonna go to bed. What do you say? I think um, we'll see what this shows and it's gonna be on for one night. And then what I do is I send it back to the sleep study people and they'll evaluate it. Um, so we'll see how, how things go. As usual, I will keep you updated. Oops, the lights have gone off. So um, that's my cue to turn my lights off. 
it's time for us to go to sleep, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my pillow over here and I'm going to bed. Okay, good night.